How's everybody doing? Oh, God. I am exhausted. I'm just exhausted. I'm totally exhausted by this. By going through this. Totally exhausted. Uh, I start out, you know, happy. I start out, uh, I, you know, happy. You know. And now I'm frustrated. Uh, you know. It's, uh, you know. And I, if I was a drug dealer, and I was doing crime and doing other shit, I'd probably get away with it. But the minute I try to do something that's good and helpful, uh, I get the fucking clubs on the stick. It's so unfair. Uh, okay, let me adjust the light and see. Uh, Right, that's a good light, a good light. How's that? Is that good? Maybe too much? Too much? Ah, that would be like that. Let's see. Uh, blue. Uh, pink. Maybe a pink. It relaxes me. Because I am so angry and so upset that I don't even want to do the show. I don't even want to do the stream. Because you get exhausted. It, it, it's exhausting. It's exhausting. I'm gonna give me a joint. And then you got motherfuckers that have to put their two cents in. Oh, Fernando, how much donation did you get? Well, don't do it. If they're not, you're not getting donations, don't do it. There's too much work and you didn't get nothing. No, no, it's not about the donation. It helped, but it's not, I'm not going to stop doing it because I don't get donations. It's not about that. No, it's about the content and the work. You know, it's, it's shit. Like, I don't put the money in my pocket. I would do it to pay and take it And people with money make money by using other people's money. That's how it works. You know? I do it because I have a staff to pay and people and people to, you know take your shit. Cause if I use my own money, then my own wealth runs out. So you got to charge and you ask for donations. That, that that's just business. That's what it's done. It's tax deductible. So no, that's fine. But I, that's not what I need to run and cover. But and, and like I said, energy is an exchange. But using my own money to make this happen. All the subscribers' money. It's still because it's not about the money. Is that it's the content? Listen, when the technician, when the technician found out about the virus, and my system, he told me that the virus is so sophisticated and so insidious that it was designed to destroy everything I'm doing, and that no regular hacker sent me this virus. It's someone in the upper crust. And I know it is, because I'm saying too many things, I'm working in too many people, and you know, it's like, you know, they don't like it. So I know that it's, that's part of it. That's part of it. So I got no choice but to use the phone. You know, and with the phone, when you, uh, when I finish the live stream and you put it up on YouTube, you only get one square image of me, and everything else is blank. I don't, and that's not good quality. Oh my God, I tried my best. And it's like, fuck you, motherfucker. We're not gonna let you make this easy. We're gonna stop you and make it difficult every step of the way. Fuck you. So I said, well, fuck you too. I'm not gonna stop. Death is my only release. I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna figure out a way. Oh, I was so angry. I gotta, I gotta calm down. I gotta relax. Because this was, this, was, this, was, this, was, this is why I'm not on the air every day like I used to. They make it hard. The minute I started to talk about some deep shit, that's when the shit hit the fan. No. But I am not gonna stop. I think I'm gonna have to uh, take this platform to the next level. Uh, 
And, uh, you know, I went to a reader, you know, just, <clears throat> I cloaked myself. <clears throat> Pretending <clears throat> to be a regular guy. Took my rings off, everything, people don't recognize who I am. You know, pokey shade. Because I walk on the street, people are like, oh, that's Fernando from YouTube. I try to put, then I put a hoodie so people don't recognize me. And I went, I went into a reader in an obscure place. And got myself a reading. Conclusion. Oh, you got people in government trying to destroy you and trying to hurt you. You got people in the church or the clergy trying to destroy you and destroy your business. And be careful going to doctors and procedures because they might kill you there too. And put all kinds of say, oh, no, I've been, look, you just, these are dangerous times. And people like, like me who are whistleblowers, doo -doo, we have to prepare for those kinds of things and accept that. This is why astrologers are not speaking and saying the things that I'm saying because they're scared that they, they, they don't, it'll come, they'll come after them. But I have too much Aries. I cannot be a coward. I don't know the meaning of that word. I cannot, you can't, no. Somebody has to have a backbone, somebody, and get the job done and go out there and put himself out on a lip. And that's me. That's going to be me. It's always been me. I never wanted this position, this office. But I got it. And, you know, me, I will fulfill it. But it's been quite, quite a journey. Let me tell you, quite a journey. And then people wonder why I drink. This is what drove me to drink. Which now has given me a host of health issues that I've got to deal with. So, I make no apologies. None. Okay. Let me, what am I drink at? There it is. But it's the can, though. It's the can. It's not, it's not alcohol. How many of you? Oh, look at that. I'm just going to do a little bit. I tell you, it's not one thing. It's another one. Oh. And no, that's going to happen all the time. That's why I'm using the phone. That's why I don't use the phone to do the recording because I get constant calls. So if it's not the calls on the phone, the fucking tablet or the laptop, so it is, I, want, I want you to see how the devil attacks Saturn in the third house. Well, it's not in the third house, it's in the seventh house. But the ruler, which is Mars, because Saturn is in Aries in the seventh house. The ruler of the seventh house is Mars. And it deposits it in the third house. That's why I have my Mars in the third house. I have it in Sagittarius. Mars is in Sagittarius in the third house. But it rules Aries. My Mars rules Aries. And Aries is in the seventh house. With Saturn there. So the depositor is Mars. So Mars deposits Aries into the third house. With Saturn there conjunct Mars. And that's why I'm having these difficulties of the third house nature. That was Keisha Farmer calling me. Today's her birthday. Keisha Farmer, happy birthday. She always calls me in, in, in the, the, the opportune, the inopportune moment. But then that's that, that's part also of the square. That's part of it. Um, if more phone calls come up while I'm doing the esoteric, I'll have to stop the stream again because of frequent calls. I get 50, 60 calls an hour, an hour. Despite the fact that I got very little subscribers. 50,000 is not a lot, but it's good for me. Because the universe is saying, these are the people that you're going to train and you're going to raise up. Nobody else is going to go into your channel. And I, that, that, that's why I get so angry and frustrated. I have a job to do. And please let me do my job. But, you know, the devil. The devil. 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 The devil. It is real, folks. It's real. All right. I got to relax and calm down. This is, you know, I, I've been under intense tension for the past um, 
four hours and still got to do readings and still got to be focused to do reading. I just finished the reading and I have this lovely, lovely subscriber, uh, Mooney Leo. She is an aspiring poetist and I'm backing her up. I'm going to back her up. I'm going to help her with the blog and everything. Even money, if necessary. Because there are some of you that I offer scholarships to for the school. And some of you I do offer to help you uh, with your creative endeavors. That is what money was made for. And like you donate money to me, I use some of that money to help other people. And that's the good way to help your fellow human beings. So the money also helps to help other artists. And this is a love, this one, this woman, I never met her. She's a subscriber. And she had a birth chart done. And I saw in the birth chart that her talent is to be a poetist. And she has a nice body of literature, of poetry, anthology, and category. Lovely, lovely. I love poetry. My mind was poetry in college. Mm -hmm. My mind was poetry. I like writing. And she's wonderful. Her name is... Well, I just wrote it down. Nicole Corona. Everybody get a shout out to Nicole Corona. Yes, my darlings, I know. I love, I'm, I'm okay, I'm better now. I mean, I mean she's talking to me, the flower. Because uh, when I get mad, I can hear some, it's like, ooh, ooh, these, these. Each plant has a different vibration and sound. And they do that when I get angry, it makes that sound. It's like to calm me down. No. Uh, oh, yeah, because when I get again, that I have too much areas. And when I get angry, it's ferocious. It's ferocious. I don't even like me. Uh, I don't like obstacles. You know, Aries is an enemy of obstacles. You don't like obstacles. Opposition or adversity. Uh, Nicole Corona. Nicole Corona is uh, a poetist. And uh, her three genres of her poetry is love, sexual love, you know? uh, nature, right? Nature, right? And the third is quote and unquote personal stories. And these are more intense stories of poetry, a real life shit that we all go through. And she's very, very good. And I gave her a few ideas of poetry. And, you know, poetry is not like before. Poetry belongs to Taurus. Again, and we are going to talk about our Taurus. And this is part of Taurus. This woman has her North Node in Taurus. So she's here to either sing or write opera or write poetry. And she has some signature that's going to make her famous, just like I am. Same signatures. Uh, but, you know, I, ne I need her to be more aggressive. Oh, God. What? My batteries are dying? I just had the bitch plugged in. See? Do you see what I'm saying? See? Back to back. Back to back. Really, bitch? Hold on one second. It's fierce. Fierce. And then the wire caught fire the other day. I had to buy a whole new one. Then I went to buy a puppy because I was so stressed. I went to buy a puppy and I liked the puppy. Do you know that before I got out of the pet shop show, they took the dog back and said, oh no, we have to take him back. Why? The dog went deaf. What? The dog went deaf, right? Oh. I, yeah, yeah. Now I see how people are driven to put a bullet in their head or jump out of a window. You cannot believe it's overwhelming the obstacles, the ability back to back. It's like they're telling you, motherfucker, we're not going to let you succeed. Fuck you. And I'm like, oh, yeah, we'll see. It's a constant fight. The neighbors must think I am crazy. 
the noise and the screams that go on here, and it's only me, that they once called the cops. And I told them, listen, officer, if you deal with what I gotta deal with, you be fucking screaming too. And remember, I know all the officers, because I've been in jail so many times that I know the officers, the, 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 the lieutenants, the captains, and I've been to all the police. Like, Fernando, are you still back here? I know how, you know, I thank God I didn't end up going to prison. But I have, tell me, I've been through it, through it. Uh, but that's why I am successful. You don't go through this and not succeed. You, you don't, you know, you don't, the universe doesn't put you to shit like this and not succeed. But it takes courage and determination and strength of will to persevere. And with the Aries that I was blessed with, I got plenty of that. I got plenty of that. Okay, hopefully it's charging. Because I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure. All right. Okay, guys, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna start finding out who you is. <laughs> uh, that's the best part is getting to know who you is, who you are, and, and say hi. You know, I love you guys. It's because of you that I fight this hard. It's because of you that I fight this hard. Because I'm already a million. I could retire and do nothing. That's not my job. Is not over. I got more to do. You know. Uh, you know. It's a sense of responsibility and purpose, and that's very Aries, and it's very cardinal, you know, and I love that about myself. I got that from my mother, who was an Aries. She was my first love, my first queen, you know, so in her honor, there's no way I'm going to fail or give up. It will be an insult to my bloodline and for the men of greatness, which Aries represents, that I'm a part of that, so I'm not going to give up. And you guys are worth it. Uh, God damn, I sounded like a mini pad commercial. <laughs> oh, God. Now I'm feeling a little better. I'm smiling. I'm laughing. The weed, right? The weed, right? It's sad, right? The weed. The fucking weed. <laughs> All right, let me get a... Uh, uh, yeah, talking about the weed, right? Okay, guys, thank you so much. Give me a minute. Give me a, give me a minute. Uh, we are going to talk about Taurus. Esoteric Taurus, but we haven't finished with Aries. Uh, I mentioned in the last uh, Aries is the life force that embodies and encapsulates this universe. And in enveloping it as a force, it gives a form, a body, a vital body. And that body is the brightness of light. That's the body. And the force is the benefit that it, does, does it, that it gives you. And this is Aries. The light of your eyes is Aries. The window to the soul. The soul is Aries. Aries the head and Pisces the tail. Pisces the head and the tail Pi uh, Aries. And, and intertwined back and forth. The, the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. That's both Aries and Pisces, which are at the tail end of each other. Same thing as the, the esoteric is deep. The, the. But now we can, now that this energy of the Big Bang has cooled down, and how many years? Did it take for the energy of Aries to cool down? Guess, free uh, 25 minute tarot reading tonight, whoever gets it. A number, how many? Remember, give me a little homework, give me a little trivia. That, you almost got it right. I counted five flames. Six! Yes! That was, um... Oh, damn. Mr. Magoo! Mr. Magoo!
I gotta get, I gotta, you know, you know how it is. Well, the, there it is, there it is. Like, let's read it, let's read it. Oh my God, guys, I'm getting old. Oh my God, I gotta use this. Uh, S star one one two two. S star one one two two. You get a free tarot reading tonight. You got it. It took because she got she got four flame. Wait a minute. Oh my God, I made a mistake. I messed up. You got five. The answer is not five. But I'm still giving you the free reading. See that I got already high. He got fucked me up. I feel better though. Fuck it. I'm gonna give you a free reading. Go ahead, girl. The answer is six. It took six trillion years for the energy of Aries to calm down. Slow down. And God rested on the seventh. Here on the seventh trillionth year, our solar system came to be. There were other solar systems in other zodiac models. Ours began on the seventh, which is why the number of God or the number of Jehovah is seven. That's when he came in. And everything in nature is set up by the number seven. Seven planets, his assistants, which represents the lower Elohim of archons, the lesser gods, and the lesser, lesser, multiply to seven times seven times seven, the different plane, the astral plane, the ethereal plane, the mental plane, these are all planes that have seven subplanes. So it's seven plus 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 the number of Jehovah, the number of God, the seventh trillionth year in which he emerged from the bottomless pit. Nothing is new under the sun. It is a repetition. He's seven here, but it could have been one there or three there, or eight there, depending on the unfolding of the cosmos. For us, it took seven trillion years before, it, it, it's almost like an assembly line, and you're working, and you're working, and the food is coming, let's say you're putting produce in boxes, right, and they're coming, and of course, uh, the boxes are empty. You put the produce in the boxes. So you get to box number 17, Okay, that's 17, that's a big bang, and that's the first time these produce go into that box. But it took 17 revolutions before it got there. It might have been circulated and been, and then people threw it out, and then the garbage men took it out, and then they recycled it, and then it ended up back on the line again. That's how life is. It repeats itself. Repeats itself. <clears throat> Like I mentioned about the Anunnaki or what they mentioned about Sumer, that man, uh, these kids, they came and they taught us this and taught us that. And we think that this is new for the first time. Now, no, they came and jump started civilization because it was destroyed by a deluge or something else. Like it has always been. That's why the deluge story is in every race, every culture, in every period of time. Meaning that this is God's way of destroying the world and recreating it all over again by sending the Anunnaki or other space brothers to re-jumpstart civilization all over again. And the story of Moses tells us that. And Moses was a Taurus. And in the days of Moses, who was the God? Minos, which is the bull. If you all remember the Ten Commandments, they were worshiping the bull. That was the God. It wasn't Jehovah. Jehovah replaced the bull. And then Jesus Christ came in, replacing Jehovah. And now we're entering another age with a new coming God. They all the same God in different cloaks, and we don't know yet what that'll be. But these extraterrestrials that are coming is part of the answer. You cannot have Aquarius and not have extraterrestrials because he rules that. So that's coming. And when it was Aquarius in other times, that's the same thing happened. So if you study the age of Aquarius in other epochs, and I'm going to teach you that, you're going to see the same phenomenon that we're talking about now. They're going to be talking about it then because nothing is new under the sun. It all repeats itself. 
the church and government have made a marriage together to conceal this and give you something else. And this is why they're trying to stop me and why I'm having such difficulty. Because I'm trying to wake you up to it. And so far, I'm happy with the job I've been doing. I hope you are too. But it's been quite a journey. One that if I had to do it over, I would do it again. Listen, I don't like boring. I don't like, and, and yes, it gets, it gets me frustrated, blah, 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 but I will never change my life or anything else. I, 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 I'm not a boring person, and I don't like boring. Uh, and nobody brings me boredom, nobody. I could be with someone, and he'll sit there for an entire day. My other people will find him boring. I will never find him boring. I'll sit right there for the whole day with, with no, with, and just study him, and let him study me or her. You know, I, Human beings uh, have the spark of the creator in them. There is nothing boring about nobody. It's just a matter of perspective and perception. That's all. It's all a matter of perception. And if you're going to call someone boring, then you must be boring. Because to me, that would be a challenge. And it would be fun. Then, now, boring is a choice. Uh, I, I'm very fiery. Like, like I said earlier, I'm, it's not for everybody. But getting back to Taurus. Taurus is that phase where everything cools down because if it's, too, if it's not cooled down enough and it's too fast of a vibration, you can build on that. If, it, if it's too intense in its vibration, then it's not usable. I'll give you an example. Diamonds. Now, diamonds are precious stones. Um, and they belong to cancer, the astrological sign of cancer. Uh, but to me, as an astrologer, it should belong to Taurus, because do you know how diamonds are made? Pressure, pressure. All the stones and gemstones and semi-precious stones, all are made of pressure and explosions. Uh, a lot of people um, love gold, my pentacle. It, it's, it's silver, which represents the moon and Jehovah, because you know Jehovah is a lunar deity. But I have the gold, which is the higher gods, which oversee Jehovah. And then I represent the priests, the priesthood. All priests on the land are under Jehovah. Which is why the crescent moon is seen in many of the Arab, Islamic, and Hebrew Judaic flags. There's a reason for that. Because they know. It's very ancient symbols. But um, people don't realize that gold is not made here. It's not made here. Gold is a byproduct of exploding stars, supernovae, plural, supernova, singular. That's where the gold comes from. They land on planets and then they are deposited over time and sink in. And then when you excavate, you find the gold and you think that it's there because it's the planet. No, they came from novies from many, many eons ago, which could have been a day or an hour because time is relative. And it fell on the earth. The earth go through its own rebirth and changes, as all the planets do, because nothing stands still in nature. Either 
it ascends or degenerates. And that's important to understand if you want to understand the esoteric meaning behind Taurus. Because these stones which fall under the auspices of Taurus have differentiation within them and also a place of origin. So not only Taurus rules earth in physical form, but it also rules stewardship. Which is why in banks, which is a stewardship of money, you find lots of Tauruses. But the banking system belongs to cancer. But it's interesting that the moon is exalted in Taurus. So isn't it interesting that the diamond is associated with cancer? But yet, if you want to have a, a diamond, the diamond has to be created underneath the bowels of the earth. When there's volcanic eruptions and the mama comes out, you know what comes out also? Diamonds. Diamonds are made deep, deep, deep within the bowels of the earth. And when we have volcanic, not excavation, Volcanic, because it's too fine the earth. Volcanic eruptions bring out the diamonds. And earth is Taurus. So isn't it interesting that here we go again with the association of Taurus and Cancer. The moon's exaltation. And the diamonds belong to Cancer. But they're made within the bowels. Beautiful. This is esoteric astrology and the beauty of the signs of the zodiac as they are redefined spiritually versus mundanely as we know it today. Taurus. I'm a Virgo and my decan is Taurus. Uh, Taurus uh, is the, 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 the giver of form, the ruler of form. When the universe began to cool down, then emerged form. The lords of form. These are gods that help create and shape the universe. And that is, they're called the 12 hierarchies. And I talk about it in my occult uh, class videos well, for occult for purchase. Uh, nothing to do with astrology, but I offer them for the general public. Uh, and the way I'm speaking now is a glimpse of the esoteric um, classes that I sell online to the people's astrology. And, uh, and I talk about the esoteric deeper stuff there that I cannot do online or I do it on Patreon you know, for $25 a month or I sell them also. But, and these are stuff that I want you to have and not share with anybody else. Even if you pay, don't share it. But it's for you. This channel is for you because you were chosen to be in this channel. Not everything that's for you, you should give to anybody else. And that's another reason why I charge. So you can respect it and keep it and not give it away. So if you're going to respect knowledge, I'm going to make you pay for it. Because that, and that's a form of discipline for you that things that are sacred are not freely given, but earned or purchased. And, and, the, and it's not about the money. It's about the discipline behind the knowledge that you obtain. If you do not have discipline to obtain knowledge, then you don't deserve the knowledge. And money is another precursor that teaches you that. So understand why I do it. But also, um, and Taurus rules money. And money has an esoteric meaning also besides the mundane meaning of transactional energy exchange. Because that's what money really is in the mundane. But it's not as transactional as you might think when we're talking esoterically. So that's another way money can be seen in many other ways. The money that I get and the money that I have, I, you, my manager is very upset with me because I, I don't spend money on myself. She told me, Fernando, you don't spend money. She's always happy when she sees me spend money on myself. I really don't spend money on myself. What the fuck do I want after 50 and I've had it all my whole life? What the hell am I going to want? What else do I need? So she said, well, you, didn't, you know what? One day I made her happy. I bought myself an $1,800 bracelet. But I told you about it and the bitch broke. 
five fucking times. And she's still somewhere, somewhere around there. It just doesn't work for me. I never do. Now, I like to spend money on going out, eating, and traveling. I, this pandemic shut that down, so I can't travel. Even with all the money, I can't. Where, 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 now you need that, that, that vaccine. So my travel days are done. So a lot of the money, I give it away. At foundations. Uh, I live in Harlem, so I, I, yeah, I get to the children's hospital and I buy teddy bears and I go to a sick hospital. I would, I would do that quietly my whole life. I've done that. Now you, that, that's, what, that's what you do. That's what you do. So no, so no, no, I, I, no. Now you're never going to see me spread to my years. I like to buy nice things. All these things I have are old. I've had it for years. And you see my body changes, yeah? so I wear my shady shit again. Yeah? You think I be buying a lot of blah, blah. So I just I buy here and there. I'm buying it now because my man is farm. I'm trying to buy something. Go ahead, but like, okay, all right, I'll take it and I'll buy it. You know, but I'm not, no, I've already been to those phases. Life, you know, when, as you get older, those, you, those phases go away. You see the bigger picture, the bigger meaning. I'm discussing this because this also falls under Taurus. Taurus rules self-esteem and self-worth and that's connected to money the higher you respect yourself and love yourself and think highly of yourself the more money you make they are connected so this is very keeping with the esoteric con uh, conversation of taurus no and when taurus is secure and it's worth because it has to begin there when taurus is secure and it's birth and it's worth and it's must, and it's value, that's when the wealth comes. Nice, right? Okay, I have to find out who's here. I went right in. It was really nice too. Yes, I hear you, yes, I know. My all can say hello. They haven't been, because I don't drink and I don't smoke like I used to. So this, they are very happy about it. They are very happy about it. They say hello. So they are. Uh, oh, that's right. There we go. They oh, 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 what are you going to be a Christian? I'm being nice. And you're going to do this? Uh, and they're laughing. They're laughing. They say hello. Oh, 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 see, see, see. Fierce. 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 You better not shut off from me. And it's connected. You should not shut off. Fierce. They say hello. And that's just a representation. There's many of them. And these are the demonic archons, which all of us have. And one day in your evolution, they are waking up to You will wake up to them. And then these are the good ones. There is the three lights of the Trinity. There is the crown of Christ. And there's the polarities. The red is Mars, Aries. And the blue is Venus or Shun. And the white is Jupiter. And behind that white current is the planet Jupiter. And behind Jupiter, Uranus, the first of the gods. And of course, down behind me, Saturn. You can't do anything without Saturn. He's the one that castrated Uranus, turning him into space. Uh, Saturn took over. And this is the ruling planet today, Saturn. The cause of our misery, pain, and sorrow. But we have no choice but to follow this system as it is now. The Aquarian age will soon change that. But for now, Jehovah rules. So, uh, talking about, but we have to talk about that because the polarity point of Taurus is Scorpio. And here we see the mysteries of God in part and in whole, in Pisces, the 12th house and the house of everything. And the house has everything. I was born with the sun in the 12th house and all of my planets are in the 12th house. <coughs> so, I'm a, I am a, I'm a Virgo. The opposite of Pisces and the 12th house. So when you're looking at Virgo Pisces polarity in your face, we represent the mystery of the mysteries of the mysteries. And also the unfolding of it on earth 
which is the physical Virgo expression, which is why Virgo is Earth. The physical expression, which will be the beautiful flowers and trees and butter, and all that's beautiful in our, on our planet, is Virgo manifesting in nature through that polarity of God, Pisces. Right? So it's deep. It's deep. And Virgo is the daughter of the Met, which is Taurus, which we are talking about today. And I'm only giving 20 minutes per sign. I give 20 minutes to Taurus and 20 minutes to Aries. And I'm, I'm, I'm contracted to finish at 25 minutes. And today I finished at 47 house minutes. So we're going to be done here with Taurus. I give a little juicy taste, juicy sweet taste. Uh, and of course, you guys think our birth chart is done with Taurus. It's a 20 minute uh, reading of the esoteric nature of Taurus and your sign. Um, because if you have a birth chart, you really should focus on the birth chart because it's going to help you get to the esoteric as you get older. But the chart is first. And for those of you who have already been charted, I can do you uh, readings on the esoteric. And I got to think if I'm going to charge or, or you donate. I have to think about it. Because you know, I am not mind a lot, so I'm not thinking about that. But the executives want that because, you know, I got to pay them. So I have to do that. But I, you know, I don't know. You let me know. You, if you want to, you know, I'll, I'll tell you, all right. I'll let you know. Not interested. Don't worry about it. But if you want it, call me and I will do your reading for your esoteric, for your sign. If you have been already charted with the birth chart. If not, no. That has to come first. Because the esoteric, again, it's another deep programming. And if you're too young, you should not be asking questions about the esoteric and you're born in it until you are much older to do it. And I didn't know Uncle Fernand is protecting you now. Right? Guys, please donate. And have a birth chart reading or a tarot reading or follow me on Twitter or YouTube or the Google Astrologer or Facebook and Twitter. I think I said it right. Guys, I love you. I'll come back. I'll have a little lunch. And then we'll go and begin with Gemini, the esoteric meaning of Gemini, the queen and king of variety.